Well, Judge Amy Coney Barrett has been facing criticism from the Democrats over her Catholic faith since her confirmation battle for the Seventh Circuit began. It was one testy exchange with Senator Dianne Feinstein that raised Barrett's popularity with religious conservatives and, according to Rush Limbaugh, exposed the left's real worry about her. When you read your speeches, Barrett, the conclusion one draws is that the Catholic dogma lives loudly within you. And that's of concern when you come to big issues that large numbers of people have fought for. Meaning there's a bunch of us that don't like Christians and we've been working really hard to take this country away from you. And you're going to you're going to stop us from getting away with taking the country away from. That's what Dianne Feinstein means here. OK, let's see what our panel thinks about that. Jamil Jaffer, a former law clerk to Justice Gorsuch, Julian Epstein, former chief counsel to the House Judiciary Committee, Democrats and Fox News contributor Andrew McCarthy, also a former U.S. Uh, assistant U.S. attorney, a federal prosecutor. Welcome to all of you. Good to have you. OK, you were in a different places. We got some in D.C., some in New York. So um, let's start here. Um, David French picks up on this idea uh, of what Rush was just talking about there. Writing this, he says, why does some progressive single her out, meaning Amy Coney Barrett, for particular scorn? It turns out that she's a faithful Christian who lives a Christian life very similar to the lives of millions upon millions of her fellow American believers. No, really, that's the objection. Uh, Andy, do you think this is going to be about her credentials or it's going to be about her beliefs? Well, I sure hope it's about her credentials. What, what's uh, really dismaying about this whole discussion, Shannon, is when you look at these candidates, one after another, uh, they're simply excellent lawyers. I mean, you, you profiled uh, Brett Kavanaugh uh, and Amy Coney Barrett this evening. Uh, as somebody said, you could almost throw a dart at this list and come up with a superb lawyer. And it's a shame that we're so immersed in the politics of this that the sheer excellence in terms of legal craftsmanship of, the, of these lawyers uh, is overlooked by what people want to project onto what they imagine their uh, you know, personal proclivities might be. It seems to me that, for example, Kavanaugh, for all this talk about uh, the Obamacare decision, what he's criticized for should be something that conservatives celebrate, which is that he tried to settle this case on uh, as narrow a basis as he could in order to leave the ambit of democratic choice as wide as possible, which is what we should want from judges. Mm -hmm. So I, I just think it's too bad that uh, politics has so infected this. Well, and in talking about this, Joan Biscupic, who's written in depth about the Supreme Court, she's an analyst over at uh, CNN, a legal analyst. She talked about the fact that Amy uh, Comey, Coney Barrett has written about um, abortion. There could be some statements and some writings that are of concern. And she added uh, this as well. She's written in the area of religion that could be, end up being a flashpoint in any confirmation hearing. She also is finally a um, former law clerk of Antonin Scalia. Julian, not a former <laughs> clerk of Justice Scalia. That's to her credit. I mean, I agree with the <laughs> statement that she is a superb lawyer. All the candidates are superb lawyers. I think it's a straw man to make the argument that she's being attacked because of her religion. That's not what she's being attacked for. She's being attacked for suggestions that she's made that her faith in Catholicism should become should come before her faith in the Constitution. But and she can she put the clear, faith in Catholicism? Very clear in the well, hearings when this came she up that she was, would never there was an put article she wrote. There was an article over. she wrote that may have suggested otherwise, and there's some ambiguity there. So I think that's Not worth probing. Her. Well, she disavowed an article. Six months ago she disavowed the, an article that she wrote that she co-signed. She's also suggested elsewhere that. Uh, Roe may have been wrongly decided and should be overturned if it was wrongly decided. So I think she's out there far more on abortion. And I don't, I mean, whether you want to call this about politics or not, I think this discussion should be broader than her religion and about abortion. The fact of the matter is this is becoming about abortion on both sides. Mm -hmm. The problem for Trump is be careful what you wish for. I mean, if you look at the polling data, it shows that many of his voters came out and voted for him because of his pronouncements on the Supreme Court mm -hmm. and the people he put on the Supreme Court. And he's kind of wedded to a pro-life pro nominee now. Uh, it's hard for him to backtrack on that, given what he said. The problem is two-thirds of the American public, both the political poll, NBC poll, and other polls, do not want this nominee to overturn Roe v. Wade. So what's good for Trump's base, the 30 percent of voters that are really his base, is bad for the 66 other percent of American voters. 
and particularly independents who really strongly feel by a margin of two to one that they do not want this nominee to overturn Roe v. Wade. Now, you can argue this should be a broader discussion. I agree that should be a broader discussion. But that's what it's becoming well, on both sides. And, and this may be very, very bad politics well, for Democrats Donald Trump. Well, Democrats have made this very clear because the Senate's top Democrat, uh, Senate Minority, Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, said this. The bottom line, Judge Barrett has given every indication that she will be an activist judge on the court. If chosen as the nominee, she will be the deciding vote to overturn Roe v. Wade and to strike down pre-existing conditions, protections in the ACA. Hashtag what's at stake. Jamil, what do you make of that characterization of this judge? I mean, apparently Democrats have a different standard for people of religion, people of faith, and apparently for women, right? When you have a nominee who's highly qualified, like Amy Comey Barrett, she has been a law professor for 15 years. She went to Rhodes College, Notre Dame Law School. She's written extensively. People point to one writing. And in fact, that writing doesn't even say that people of faith shouldn't take their, take their oath seriously. To the contrary, it says judges who have a opposition to should recuse themselves. In fact, what she said there, and what she said at the, at the conference hearing, was exactly the same thing. Judges should not let their religious views get in the way of being a fair and even-handed judge. And so this idea somehow that a person of faith can't be a good judge, ridiculous. No one's saying well, a person of faith can't be a good judge. Nobody's we should saying, vote against them, apparently. Nobody's saying there's a different standard. What people are saying is that if for whatever reason she is going to take what is regarded by most Americans as an extremist view, that we should overturn Roe v. Wade, then that is a basis on which to vote against her. And that's where the American public is it's right now. Two-thirds of the American public there are, are there. There are plenty of polls out there as well that show that, that most Americans do believe there should be some limits on abortion. And that's something that courts have to, have to figure out. Legal, when they, right, but there should be times in which they don't think it should be legal. But that's not Trump's position. Trump's position okay, in the let, and, and the campaign was, I will if I get two more nominees, we will repeal Roe so, v. Wade. Andy, what so does that's he, the box what did he in. do with that now? Because we have this list of 25 since last uh, in November um, that he was going to choose from this list. So where does he go from here? I mean, does this turn into a pol purely political fight? Because there are Democrats who voted for Judge Barrett, for Judge Kavanaugh, for all of these judges who are on the list. There are Democrats who voted for them in the past. Yeah, but Shannon, they voted for him for, because of the politics of the situation. Look, I, I think, number one, there are people, uh, with all due respect, uh, who think that people of faith can't be good judges. I'm, it, it's, it's wrong, who, but they do, they do who? say that. Who? Oh, come on. Who? You, you had Senator Feinstein asking uh, Barrett in her confirmation hearings about how the dogma lives deeply in her. That, that's a, what that's difference a cheap does that, shot. What difference does that make? It was a cheap shot by, by Dan Feinstein. What difference does that it's make? It's a cheap shot. If she, yeah, by DiFi. I, I, I cheap shot at her by quoting her. Sorry about that. No, no, it's a cheap shot to suggest that Feinstein's position was that you, if you are a person of faith, that you cannot be a good judge. She, she Feinstein's said she was argument, one at a time. She just Feinstein's she argument. What was, the Feinstein's, what was Feinstein's the relevance argument. of the dog, What was the relevance of the dogma living within her? Because Feinstein's living argument in her, the, Feinstein's argument in the context of the death penalty discussion and the article that she signed and the suggestions about Roe v. Wade being wrongly decided is if your decision making is being made first by your faith, not by the Constitution. When she was asked directly, that's, a and that's to the issue. No one, but nobody has she, ever said. When no, she was asked and given a chance to answer that question directly, she clarified that and said, "Yes, this is an article I wrote 20 years ago. What I worded differently now? Do I think that my faith should come before the law?" She said, "Absolutely and, not." And that's a fair. And what do you that's make a fair of, answer. Of, of that's Senator a fair answer. Durbin saying to her? asking her, are you an Orthodox Catholic? Would you say that to someone of Jewish faith or practicing the Islamic faith? I mean, would you ask I, that question? I didn't like that question. I, okay, I agree so with you. I, didn't, I, 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 I wouldn't have asked that question, and I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't frame it. I wouldn't put the religious frame in it. I think that's the wrong frame to put on. So I agree with that. But I think it's wrong to say if you have concerns about a nominee not looking at the Constitution and looking at something else for their guidance, then I think that's fair play. And I think that's all but that happened. Jamil, is that happening? I mean, that's amazing. This, you know, they said this about John Kennedy. Would John Kennedy go look to Rome and to the Pope if he were elected president? I mean, it's it's, wouldn't. it's And Amy Coney Barrett said she wouldn't, so why are we still talking about this? It's ridiculous. Well, this, it's is, this, issue, is the same, this is the same religious bigotry that has long affected our country. People say people of faith can't be fair. John no. F. Kennedy could be a fair president Democrat. Amy Coney Barrett can't be a fair judge. It's ridiculous. This it's is, outrageous. So this, it's an attack on people of faith, and it's not fair. This is a straw man argument with all due respect. It's Completely, it's, it's that Diane made. it's completely intellectually dishonest. No one is talking about her religious faith. What, what people are talking about... literally talking about the dogma what, living deeply what, within what, you. What, she what, said what, it. I didn't no say that. What the issue here is... Hold on. Religious faith? What, what, the, what the issue here is... What the issue here is, and the context here is, which you guys mm -hmm. want to avoid, is this notion about... She has said, 
on more than one occasion okay. that she suspects whether Roe was rightly decided, and if it was not rightly decided, it should be repealed. Okay, well, the we political a, no, the no, question no, of no, 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 gentlemen, gentlemen, I want to give Andy a, a final chance to get in here. He's long distance. Wrap us up, Andy. Uh, why can't it be true that Roe is wrongly decided and that it doesn't necessarily have to be overturned, particularly after Casey, which which opens up a lot of area to regulate abortion without directly confronting whether Roe was correctly decided really or not. Fair point, except that's not what she said. She said if it was wrongly decided, it All right, it, we, we should consider overturning it. We gotta leave it there. There so, will but your be, point, Andy's point is particularly There is, will be an arm wrestling fair. match right after this during the commercial. But until then, Julia, Jamil, and Andy, thank you both, or all three of you. All three it's of It's great us. to have you. Come back soon.